Hey there, Dr. Mamina here, and today's topic is one of my favorites and an absolute must in your daily routine. I'm talking about sun protection and understanding the differences between SPF, UVA, and UVB, and what they all mean. It's time to understand how to protect your skin from harmful rays and know how to choose the right protection, so here we go. Sun protection is an absolute must in your daily skincare routine, no questions asked. And it's just as important to understand why, so let's dive right in. One of the immediate and visible benefits of sun protection is the prevention of sunburn. Sunburn occurs when your skin's exposed to excessive UV radiation leading to redness, pain, and eventual peeling. By applying sunscreen with adequate SPF and practicing sun safe behaviors, you can minimize the risk of sunburn and the immediate damage it causes to your skin. Most importantly, consistent and effective sun protection can also help reduce the risk of skin cancer. Prolonged and unprotective exposure to UV radiation increases the likelihood of developing skin cancer, including melanoma, the most aggressive form. By wearing sunscreen, finding shade, and wearing protective clothing, you can significantly lower your risk of skin cancer and promote long-term skin health. Another reason why skin protection is so important is that it helps prevent premature aging, something I know we all wanna avoid. Exposure to UV rays accelerates the aging process of the skin, leading to wrinkles, fine lines, and age spots. UV radiation can cause damage to the collagen and elastin fibers in your skin, resulting in loss of firmness and elasticity, which manifests as fine lines, wrinkles, and increased laxity. So when you protect your skin from the sun, you're helping preserve your skin's texture and elasticity by minimizing collagen breakdown. But I also really wanna make a point that even minimal daily exposure to UV light, whether you're walking from your front door to your car, you're driving, or taking a walk on a cloudy day, these can all still cause sun damage. It's not just the occasional intense sunburn that can harm your skin. Really, any time your skin's exposed to the sun unprotected, you're at risk of damaging it. So that's why it's so important to consistently protect your skin against the sun, regardless of the weather or how long you'll be outside for. But when it comes to sun protection, understanding SPF and how much to use is key. First of all, SPF stands for sun protection factor and indicates the level of protection a sunscreen offers against UVB rays. The number associated with SPF represents the amount of time it would take for the skin to burn compared to the time it would take without any sunscreen. A simple formula is used to get the SPF. The formula is the number of seconds it takes a patch of skin to slightly redden when covered in sunscreen, when that's divided by the number of seconds it takes to slightly redden when there is no sunscreen applied. So if you're wearing SPF 30, it would take theoretically 30 times longer for your skin to burn compared to going without sunscreen. However, it's important to note that SPF doesn't translate into an exact time frame of sun protection. It's not about minutes, but rather the level of protection provided. I also want to address a common misconception. Some people have been led to believe that after you hit SPF 50, there is no significant difference between that and a higher SPF, say like SPF 70 or 100. However, a randomized control trial published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that higher SPF levels, so SPF 100 versus 50, do make a difference in sun protection. Especially when spending time outdoors, using a higher SPF can give you added protection and minimize the effects of UVB rays. And that brings me to the biggest myth I wanna bust. And this one truly keeps me up at night because of how dangerous and out of hand this information is getting. In 2021, approximately 78 sunscreens were found to be contaminated with benzene. Benzene is a chemical that's prevalent in our environment and it's not an actual sunscreen ingredient, nor is it part of the formula for sunscreen. The good news is this discovery led to the product recalls of these contaminated products and also resulted in some sunscreen companies now phasing out oxybenzone, also known as benzophenone, from their formulations. But unfortunately, the negative impact of the press about a few contaminated sunscreens has spiraled out of control, misinforming many people that sunscreen is bad for them and claiming it's worse than sun exposure. As a medical professional, this deeply troubles me because this simply is not true and I can't stress enough how important it is to make sunscreen a part of your daily routine. Which brings me to my next point. Although SPF primarily addresses UVB protection, it's also important to also consider UVA coverage. Differentiating between UVB and UVA rays is crucial to understand the effects of the sun on your skin. UVA rays have longer wavelengths that penetrate deep into your skin, contributing to premature aging, the breakdown of collagen, and an increased risk of skin cancer. Look for sunscreens labeled as broad spectrum to protect against UVA rays. And if you're looking at the PA rating system, often seen as PA++ or PA++++, 
indicates the level of UVA protection in Asian sunscreens and some US sunscreens. UVB rays, on the other hand, have shorter wavelengths and primarily affect the outer layers of your skin, which can cause sunburns. But these rays are also more closely associated with skin cancer. While the medical community may not have all the answers, it is widely acknowledged that UV radiation, both UVA and UVB, contributes to the development of skin cancer. Today, we're seeing a surge in skin cancer cases among those aged 40 to 60 who were living in the 80s and were all excessively using tanning oils with minimal sun protection. This just shows that time and time again, there has always been a false sense of confidence associated with wearing sunscreen, with some assuming that a single application provides full day protection. It's essential to remember that sunscreen is not 100% foolproof and as mentioned, should be reapplied regularly, especially after sweating, swimming, or prolonged sun exposure. But it's also a non-negotiable part of your skincare routine. My top two pieces of advice for you today to ensure optimal sun protection is to use sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher that has a broad spectrum label indicating protection against both UVA and UVB rays. Just pick a sunscreen that you are willing to use consistently and are motivated to put on every single day. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about achieving healthy, radiant skin, be sure to download my free gift of my top five skincare favorites. And remember to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel to join my holistic wellness journey for your mind, body, and skin. Thanks for watching.